So what you just saw was a magic. It was a beautiful battle between an acid and a base with Thymol Blue acting as a war correspondent. To really get it, let's break it down. So first off, what is pH? The term stands for potential of hydrogen. And it's just a scale from 0 to 14 that scientists use to measure how acidic or basic something is. A pH of 7 is neutral, like pure water, anything below 7 is acidic, and everything above 7 is basic or alkaline. The lower the number, the stronger the acid. The higher the number, the stronger the base. Now our canvas was a sodium carbonate solution which is alkaline with a pH above 9. Our paint was a sodium hydrogen sulfate, a acid that creates a pH below 7. But the real star of this show is thymol blue. It's a special indicator because it has two distinct color changes. In very strong acid with a pH below about 2, it turns fiery red as the solution gets less acidic from the pH of about 2.8 to 8, it turns yellow. Then, once the solution becomes basic with a pH above 9, it changes again and turns that deep blue. Think of the thymol blue molecule like a piece of origami. In its blue alkaline state, the molecule is folded in a specific way. When we add acid, we're flooding the solution with hydrogen ions. These ions force the thymol blue molecule to refold itself into a new shape. That new shape absorbs and reflects light differently, and our eyes see it as red or yellow. So when the first drop of acid hit, it created a tiny zone with a very low pH, and the thymol blue there instantly folded into its red shape. As the acid spread out and was weakened by the surrounding blue base, the pH on that expanding front line rose just enough to make the indicator molecules shift into their yellow shape. The result is that incredible gradient of color, red to orange to yellow to blue, all in one dish.